Hello and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video I'm going to explain how you can set up different sales targets using the goals feature of pipe drive. Now if you have any questions about pipe drive please leave me a comment below and let me know what you'd like to learn about if you have suggestions for things you'd like me to share leave me a comment below and have a look in the link uh, the description below this video to see details of how you can learn about my consulting service if you need help with pipe drive setting up and integrating pipe drive with other tools or training your team have a look in the description and i've got details of how you can extend your pipe drive trial to 45 days so let's get into this video so one of the great features of pipe drive is the ability to set up goals so as any good sales team will have, you've probably got sales key performance indicate indicators or KPIs or sales targets that you're trying to aim towards. And there's different types of goals you might have. They might be activity-based goals, like maybe you need to complete a certain number of phone calls per week, or you need to send out a certain number of contracts or proposals. Or they could just be overall sales targets, like you want to close 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 million dollars worth of sales per month, quarter, or the year. So there's different Different types of goals that we can set up. Now when we're setting up in Pipedrive, I'm under progress and I'm under goals here, you can set up company goals, uh, you can set up goals for individual users, and if you're on Platinum, you can set up goals for specific teams as well. So let's start with some individual goals, so I'm going to click on a user here, here's just some example goals that I've set up. So this first one is an activity-based goal. I'll just go through the steps now to actually just recreate this. So what I'm going to do is click add goal, this green button. And for an individual goal, you can, or for any goal, you can set, is it a company goal? So for example, as a company, our target is to hit uh, $100,000 per month, or is it an individual user goal? So Paul needs to close $10,000 of sales this month. You probably want to set up both, actually. You, I would even go about thinking, well, what's our company goal? Let's say we want to do $100,000 a month, and then break that down into individual sales targets as well. So we're going to set up company and user goals. I'm just going to set up a user goal, and I'm going to say this is for Paul, and click continue. Then you set what type of goal you can create. So as I said before, goals could be activity-based, or deals progressing to a certain stage, or deals won. So actually, let's talk about them one by one. So activities added, first of all, this is basically a goal to create a certain number of activities per month. To be honest, I don't find this particularly useful, just scheduling activities. Maybe you can find a way of using that. I personally don't see a lot of value in that. I think activities completed is certainly a lot more useful. So that could be used for getting a certain number of calls done per week, contracts signed, proposals out, things like that. Deal started is quite a good one if you need to maintain a certain level of inbound leads, especially if you have uh, more like marketing roles in Pipedrive, not just sales. If your marketing team needs to be generating a certain amount of inbound leads, you could have a deals started goal. Deals one is obviously kind of revenue and sales based, so we need to close 10 deals or let's say $50,000 worth of deals per week, per month, whatever it is. And then finally, deals progressed basically means deals getting through a certain stage. So for example, let's say you have a stage in your pipeline which is uh, contract signed. Maybe you need to get a certain number or a certain value of deals through that stage. So for this one, I'm going to do an activity-based goal. So we'll do activities completed, and then you can select your activity type. So I could do, uh, I'm going to do this proposal or demo call. I'm going to present a certain number of proposals. <clears throat> Click continue. You can uh, specify which pipeline, if you have different pipelines and you want to set up different goals. This is going to be not specific, so that's fine. And then you can set up the, the um, target for this activity completion. So I might say I want to do five per month, so I'll put the number five, and then I'll put in the period here. And then finally we set the duration of the goal, so we might say like this is for this year, uh, but we could set a shorter duration, and maybe you want to be setting up new goals every month. So you could do just this month and then set a new, up a new goal for the following month. I'm just going to stick this to a year. So that's the steps, that's actually the exact goal that I've got right here already. And once you've created your goal, we can then uh, see this in a few different places. Uh, if I click this button here, I can go straight to the report that shows me this goal. So you can see for this activities completed, for Paul, Paul has completed two of the five, um, the five that he has for that month. Um, so it takes you straight to that report. If I go back, let's look at a different one. Let's look at this progress $20,000 of deals through proposals sent. Again, I can click that arrow and be taken straight to that goal. And you can see uh, this, there's the little line there. Uh, we've progressed nearly 8,000 so far, uh, but the, the goal is to do 20. Um, it's still 
beginning of the month so maybe that's okay we can kind of we can that that's fine for now but clicking on the goal it will take you straight to the report that shows you how that person or how the company is trending towards that goal you will also see um these these um goal updates on the dashboard as well up here and it is worth noting that company and individual goals display slightly differently so if i go to my company goals this is the same goal that we've set up for an individual but now i've set it up for a company and if i show this company goal in the reports you see it's slightly different it shows the goal over time whereas before it really just showed the current month and how that individual was was trending for that month whereas with a company goal I can actually see it over time so we could say for this year how we see it how are we tracking for this goal this year so got company goals and individual goals they display slightly differently in the reports so something worth keeping in mind and perhaps experimenting with when you are setting up your goals and here we can see the effect of the goals in the dashboard as well so we're looking at the entire company here and for the uh, proposal demo co call goal that we set up you can see on the activities completed chart here how far through completing that goal we are and for deals one again there's the sales target as well it's also worth keeping in mind that the goal will adjust based on the time frame or period that you're looking at so if you have a monthly goal and you adjust it the time frame in your reports to quarterly the goal amount will adjust as well so here's a goal I have to do five demos per month uh, but if I change this to this quarter it's now going to change and say right you need to do 15 and I've done nine of my 15 for this particular quarter so there you are that is a bit of a look at how to create goals and basically transfer your sales targets into Pipedrive if you have any questions please let me know leave me a comment below this video uh, have a look in the details uh, in the description below for details on how to learn more about my consulting services and extend your Pipedrive trial as well Thank you very much for listening, and I will see you in the next video.